Hello, welcome to the video. So, this is my A1200 board that I repaired in previous videos. I've given it a recap, removed the modulator, and I've re replaced the PCM CIA slot. Um, yeah, so this video was supposed to be me installing this in a Checkmate case. Unfortunately, the guys from Checkmate have sent me the wrong backplate with my case, so this doesn't actually fit inside. So, yeah. Instead, we're going to fit a couple of other bits and give it a power up. So, first of all, we've got an A1200 AMI key. And, yep, yeah, that's going to fit on. One of the chips to give us USB, so we'll be able to use a regular USB uh, joystick, a uh, joystick keyboard even. Uh, on top of that, you've also got a header, so that's that's the header is going to be especially useful for when it's in the case. And also a. Pi Storm, Pi Storm 32 Lite, fantastic. Right, so first things first, let's get the Pi Storm built. So let's move this out of the way. Pi Storm. comes with bits and bobs in here so it's a 3d printed adapter okay And this will plug into this. So I am imagining this to go through this way. Yeah. So this is going to go through this way here. And I suspect that the included, um, yeah, the included thermal pad is going to go on here and then attach to this. So that looks straightforward enough. So let's just peel that off. Yeah, this is a, a, a two gigabyte Pi, to, uh, Pi 4. So you, I don't think you need a lot, lot more than that for this. And I have put that on super, super wonky. There we go, that's better. Just make sure that I can use that just to nudge it into the position I want it. Which is right smack in the middle of the chip. There we go. Brilliant. So, I imagine that this goes through the board. Like so. Then contacts the base of the board properly, like so. Ah, okay. Right. Now I'm guessing that that, yeah, that goes over there. And there's three. Yep. There's, there's three of these tiny little spaces that I really should have thought about before I put it down. Let's just nudge that in position there and go straight through. Okay. 
There we go. Just bite that in there a little bit because I may need to display it a little bit just to get the spacer in. The spacer that I should have put in beforehand. There we go. So I'll just nudge that in a little bit. Nice. Just got to nudge that spacer into the right place so that the bolt goes through. Okay, come on, find your way. There we go. And that's gone through. And the last one. And that didn't want to go. So we'll try that again. Got it. Okay. And that is literally it. So the Pi Storm should now be assembled. Just like that. Brilliant. Now I've, I've rewrote the firmware in the Pi to um, boot from USB first. Which is going to create a little bit of a delay. That's, that's deliberate. Um, yeah, I wanted the ability to maybe load more than one operating system. So I'm going to have EMU68 on the SD card. And if I plug in something on USB, then that can boot whatever I plug into it. So let's get set up with the Amiga board and uh, let's fire it up. Right, so here we've got the board. It's got the Pi Storm attached. Um, I'll just show you this here. So, we've got the Pi Storm, we're all connected up to just a regular Dell keyboard, and we've got a, a really dodgy old period mouse plugged in. Look at that! So, yeah, let's, let's fire this up, get this all running, and try and there we go. Right, here we go. So Right, the lights come on the Pi, there's a light on the keyboard connector, and it goes straight to this. And there's a reason for this, it takes time for the Pi to boot, and it's going to take a little more time because I've actually added, um, I've changed the boot priority to USB. So that's got a timeout before it will boot off the SD card. There's a sp specific reason I've changed it to boot from USB first, but if we just, oh there we go, so it's just booted. The 1200s resetting. So this is on EMU 68. Boom, and we're in. Just like that. So what we can do is, I've got, I mean, this has got a ball in it. I mean, check that out. So let's have a look here. What we can do is, two megs of graphics memory and two gigs of other memory. <laughs> Oh, that's that's funny. Um, right, let's just pick a, a look here. Now, knowing me, I'm going to pick a game that's going to fall over because the Pi Storm can't run everything. Um, but it, it's got a lot better. Um, let's have a look. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there's so many good games on the Amiga. So many. Um, right, let's have a look at this, R-Type 2, okay, press F10 to quit, look at that, stonking, so this is just running through um, my regular uh, RGB output straight, straight into the back of the TV, 
the, the graphic quality is phenomenal it's really good and there we are ready to rock and roll so if we press f10 there we go so the usb keyboard adapter works fine um that's r there's just so many salmon pink max what the hell was that um look at all this well, well you know you we know we've got to do it got to do it ah yeah print screen to quit now i don't know if my print print screen key is is knackered but um yeah it doesn't quite like it that's no problem because we can just power it off superb so as we can see the price storm is absolutely smashing it two gigs of main ram <laughs> anything past about 10 megs you're not going to use but Like I said, this is on Emu 68. I am planning on using Musashi as well, but this is why I wanted the USB to boot because the USB driver is only part of Musashi and not Emu 68, which is a bit confusing because uh, the Emu 68 is bare metal and it doesn't have a USB stack or driver in it. I have no idea what that picture is. So, right, like I said, I'm going to have to reset. So let's just turn it off. Turn it back on. Yeah, for some reason, the print screen key uh, doesn't seem to want to work. I'm not entirely sure why. What you're seeing here when it boots is there's no, um, there's no hard drive plugged in, as you can see. No compact flash. So it's actually using uh, partitions stored on the SD card of the... Uh, the Pi Storm, and that makes it really fast. So there's a boot delay. Boom, and we're in. So, I mean, th this is uh, a staple of every single test that people will show you with a Pi Storm. I'm going to do it anyway. Let's, uh, let's have a look here. Probably already a step ahead of me. I think I moved the ball with my fingers. What the hell? Look at this. There we go, another print screen job. As you can see there, that's super, super smooth. Pi Storm's absolutely smashing it. Look at that. No problem at all there. Right, so, Pi Storm, no problem. It's been recapped, it's got new ROMs. 
it's it's all pucker. So this is now ready to go in a checkmate case. Um, I've now got the back plate, so that will be in the next video. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the installation. So thanks for watching. Check out my compadres in the video description. And I'll catch you next time.